small incision cataract surgery OSICS is now practiced in both developed and developing countries. One of the most critical step of surgery is to extract the nucleus from the sclerocorneal tunnel. A number of techniques of nuclear delivery have evolved over the time. These techniques have their own merits and demerits. However, they give similar results in the hands of experienced surgeons. In this video, we will discuss nucleus removal by Blumenthal technique using an AC maintainer. We will also discuss some of the ways to prevent complications associated with this technique. But first we would like you to subscribe to the channel so that you may not miss our new videos. You may also share the video with those who may like this topic. Check the description for similar videos and product links. An AC maintainer is basically a beveled steel tube connecting the infusion bottle to the anterior chamber. The beveled metallic tube is first connected to a silicon tube which is in turn connected to an infusion bottle. Incisions for installing an AC maintainer are made when I has adequate intraocular pressure. Which means that it is not possible make a perfect incision when globe is already compressed, such as after making the primary incision for cataract surgery. It is advisable to first dissect the SICS tunnel, but not make the entry in the AC. After the tunnel has been dissected with a crescent knife, a side port is made with a 20G for fixing the AC maintainer. 20G MVR blades are available in both angled as well as straight configurations. All this should be done prior to entry with the keratome. Once the entry is made, the intraocular pressure would fall and it would be difficult to insert the AC maintainer. After ensuring that AC is adequately deep with viscoelastic, MVR blade is inserted at the 5 o'clock or 7 o'clock position parallel to the limbus, away from the vascular arcade of the cornea in the left and right eye respectively. Incision Plane while making an entry with MVR, care should be taken to create a tunnel-like opening of adequate size. You should hold the blade in such a manner that its widest portion is parallel to the iris surface. Incision Size A narrow opening causes difficulty in the insertion of ACM whereas a large opening results in repeated slipping of AC maintainer thereby preventing the adequate buildup of hydrostatic pressure for delivery of the nucleus. A smooth, controlled entry of AC maintainer avoids injury to the iris or decemets membrane. Stromal edema may occur if part of the bevel remains in the stroma and allows the seeping of fluid into the cornea. Corneal haziness makes further surgical maneuvers difficult. In order to install AC maintainer, you have to hold it firmly by its tip and enter the AC with bevel up configuration in a screwing manner. Once inside the anterior chamber, rotate the tube for 180 degrees so that the bevel faces the iris. Prior to its insertion, you should flush it with a balanced salt solution PSS to check patency and remove any air column in the tubing. It is preferable that you insert it from the temporal side. The BSS bottle is suspended 50 to 60 cm above the patient's eye. Nucleus delivery by AC maintainer. The principle of the technique is to 1. Engage the nucleus into the sclerocorneal pocket tunnel with the help of a thin iris repositor. Some surgeons use lens glide for this purpose, but it may not be available in all operation theaters. 2. Push the nucleus out by hydro pressure. 3. Pull the nucleus out by a needle if so warranted. For engaging the nucleus into the sclerocorneal pocket tunnel, after injecting viscoelastic both in front and behind the nucleus, an iris repositor is passed behind the nucleus. The iris repositor should not be pushed inside possibly as it can cause iridodialysis and even posterior capsular rupture. A lens glide can serve the same purpose. Once the iris repositor is in position, AC maintainer is opened and slight pressure is applied on the iris repositor on the scleral side. Intermittent pressure facilitates the exit of the nucleus out of the tunnel's mouth. Subsequently, a few more taps enable the epinucleus and cortex to flow out of the AC. delivery. If the nucleus fails to deliver even with full flow of AC maintainer and iris repository in place, nuclear delivery can be assisted by a 23G needle held in the other hand. 
the nucleus is engaged at right angle to its axis with a 23 G needle. AC maintainer generated hydrostatic pressure pushes the nucleus out. The needle assists by pulling it and the intermittent pressure on the iris repository guides the nucleus out. The needle can also be used for debulking the nucleus by repeatedly engaging more and more of the extruded portion of the nucleus, chipping it off, pushing the remaining nucleus back into the AC, re-engaging the smaller diameter and allowing it to flow out. If the nucleus does not engage into the inner lip of the tunnel despite the full volume of AC maintainer flow, the reasons may be Small tunnel or irregular tunnel Incomplete dissection with some fibers still adhering AC leaking through a regularly created main opening or side port Premature entry in the AC with prolapsed iris obstructing the outlet Hope you liked the video. Feel free to share your views on this issue in the comment section. Check the description for similar videos and product links.